हेलो क्लास फाइव वेलकम टू योर साइंस ऑनलाइन क्लास वी आर डूइंग द चैप्टर लिविंग एंड नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड विद द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ लिविंग थिंग्स एंड टू फर्स्ट टू कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स व्हाट वी हैव लर्न दैट लिविंग थिंग्स मूव ऑन देयर ओन इन सर्च ऑफ फूड वाटर एंड शेल्टर एंड अनदर सेकेंड पॉइंट वॉट वी हैव रेड दैट लिविंग थिंग्स नीड एयर वाटर एंड फूड इज इंट इट बिकॉज विदाउट दैट इट इज इम्पॉसिबल फॉर अ लाइफ टू सर्वाइव इज इंट इट विदाउट फूड विदाउट वाटर विदाउट एयर एयर वी आर ब्रीदिंग इन एंड आउट फूड वी आर ईटिंग वाटर वी आर ड्रिंकिंग सो विदाउट दैट इट इज इम्पॉसिबल टू सर्वाइव सो एनिमल्स डू नॉट हैव क्लोरोफिल अप टू दैट वी हैव डन इन द लास्ट थिंग so they eat plants on other animals for food so so it depends so animals depend on other plants and food uh, plants and animals for their food living organisms such as mushroom do not have chlorophyll they mostly grow on dead animals and plants and get their nutrients from them so dead plants and animals on them they used to grow this mold and mushroom and they used to receive their nutrients today we are going to start with the third point living things are made up of cell now see our body uh, is made up of plenty of cell you know and uh, um, there are animals those who are microscopic they are very small in uh, size which we cannot see through our eye they are there are um, animals which are made up of one cell also so um, a cell is the smallest living part of the living things the bodies of all living things are made up of cells most cells are so small that they cannot be seen only under microscope so only with the help of microscope you are able we are able to see the uh, cell and our body is made up of plenty of cell which we cannot see through our eye our body contains millions of cells of different types so in our body there are different types of cells and they are of different shape size and structure and without uh, without microscope we are unable to see them and for seeing them and observing we have to use a microscope some very small animals such as amoeba are made up of only one single cell so as i have told you that only one cell animal is a amoeba so this can be one very important objective so after the class live class we are going to discuss the question answer so uh, when the teach when i will uh, explain you i will teach you you must copy them in your copy next is living things grow and change see um, before going through the chapter uh, if i ask you when you were in class 1 and now you are in class 5 do you look like the same no you have got many changes like a newborn and a child who is in class 1 they look the same no huge difference occurs so it is a characteristics of all living things when i uh, consider a small baby seedling when a seedling we see it is a very small one when it grow up in a large tree a banyan tree what happens so many leaves are grown thick branches are grown they used to give fruits and flowers so that cannot be seen in a little plant so this is also a characteristics of living things plants and animals both those who grow and they used to change you look different now from what you were like where you are born a baby your height and weight have increased in a few year time you will become an adult so after some days you will become an adult after you cross your age 18 you will be an adult all living things grow and change ultimately all living things grow old and die non living things do not grow so see again like the previous points non living things they are not even made up of cell and they don't have birth and they don't have death as well so the point what here is uh, highlighted is what you look like at the age of 1 now you are different after some years at the age of 18 when you will become adult you will look different and again at the age of old at the old age you will look some somewhat different and so this is one of the characteristics of living things that they living things grow change and ultimately die but <coughs> in case of non living things they do not grow 
and they also do not die. So living things are made up of cell. What we have read in this chat part that living things are made up of cell. Millions of cells are there in our body which we cannot see through our eye. We need microscope to observe and there are animals which are made up of only one cell and these cells are different in shape, size and structure. And this uh, fourth point what we read is living things grow and change. So what you look uh, when you are a newborn, now you look uh, different again when you will become adult and finally when you will grow old, then you will look as the year will pass, your age will increase, your height and weight will increase and you will change. Your looks will also change. So this is one feature of all type of plants and animals. So this is all about today. In the next part of the video, we are going to start with the new um, characteristics that is living things respond to change. Thank you so much.